Hello, Red Knights. Welcome back to another exciting school year at Northport Myers High School. I'd like to introduce several key people of administration. So I'm actually Principal Debbie Diggs. You'll be meeting in a few minutes, Assistant Principal for Curriculum, Kim Kahn. Assistant Principal in Charge of Facilities, Rhonda Amaya. Assistant Principal Doug McKeever, who oversees student services. And Assistant Principal Samantha Hutchinson, who oversees multiple special programs. You also will get to meet at some time during the year, Joe Bowen, and he is our Athletic and Activities Director. Other key people that will be important for you to know as you are navigating the school year is North is fortunate to have two SROs. We have Deputy Conley and Deputy Aguilar. We have five guidance counselors. So Mrs. Campbell, she works with students with the last name of A through DA. Mrs. Gomez, who works with students last name DE through HE. Mrs. Tuttero, who works with students HI through MC. Mrs. Paluccio, who works with kids ME through R, and Mrs. Barnes, who works with students S through Z. We do have several COVID expectations that I did want to discuss with you. Uh, we do have several things that we were able to relax after last year, but we do have several things that we have in place just to do our due diligence in keeping all students and staff as safe as possible. It's important that each one of us, students and staff, do our part to help keep everyone safe. So the first thing is that masks are absolutely encouraged. Even if you're vaccinated, we have encouraged everyone, particularly if you're in a large area with many people, to wear a mask just to give yourself that extra layer of protection. It is still important to physically distance wherever possible. Please make sure that you are keeping those hands nice and sanitized. So we have sanitizing stations throughout campus and in multiple classrooms. It's important to wash your hands, particularly if you are using the vending machines or any door handles, frequent touch areas. Please make sure to constantly sanitize your hands. Cleaning your desk area is encouraged. So anytime you go into any classroom before you're sitting down, if you would like to wipe down the area, each of your classrooms will have spray and paper towels available for you to do that. Please avoid any kind of gathering in the hallways or in open spaces. Seating charts are still required, so it is important that you adhere to all seating charts, both in the classroom and especially at lunch. We'll be doing the same thing that we did last year, that the start of each quarter, you'll actually get to choose a seat, but once you choose a seat, that is your seat for the quarter. Make sure that once you are assigned that seat, that you every single day you sit in your assigned seat. Sitting in the wrong seat may result in a referral for an unauthorized area, and the bigger picture is going to result in inaccurate information for the Department of Health for contact tracing. Please make sure that you only report to your scheduled classrooms. And if sick, please stay home and have a parent call the clinic. With that, I would like to introduce Mrs. Kimberly Kahn. Good morning, Red Knights, and welcome back. We are so excited to have you here for the 21-22 school year. I am the assistant principal over curriculum, and I work extremely close with your guidance team. I wanted to go over a few key points for this school year, um, just, just outlining how your academics are gonna come first. Extremely important to be prepared, to set academic goals, to stay focused, and of course, to ask for help. We are here to support you. Again, your academics come first. Super important to know your Google Classroom codes. So take note of each of these Google Classroom codes according to your class. Again, if you want to get in touch with your guidance counselor during the summer, you are using a Google form. Now that Google form is inactive. It's very important that if you want to see your counselor, that you access them via CASEL. So set up an appointment, you can email them, or via CASEL, you can set up an appointment. 
Now I'd like to introduce Mr. McKeever and he will go over the code of conduct. Good morning, Red Knights, and welcome back to another great year. This year is just no different than any other year. We're all about character, we're about respect, and about the number one rule to school here. Keep in mind, we're family. And also keep in mind, in student services, we follow the code of conduct. That's our guide, as a guide for you, as a guide for your family. So be sure that you read through the code of conduct. Don't miss that opportunity, all right? And when you do read through the code of conduct, make sure that you emphasize to your parents and really push them to go through and complete the emergency form and the code of conduct form. That's a must, all right? That's a must. You have to complete that. Otherwise, you won't have access to your focus portal. And moms and dads, you know, they want to see your grades, your attendance. They want to know how you're doing. And of course, you want to be able to brag about that stuff. So make sure that you have them all prepared. Go home, have that conversation with them, and make sure that they get that emergency form and the code of conduct form completed ASAP. And we appreciate you doing that. Dress code. Listen, North, we set the standards in this district. We always have. And we're not going to change. Why should we? So understand, shorts have to be to the knee. Shirts, dresses, same thing, ladies, down to your knee. PE shorts are acceptable, but just make sure that they're, again, down to the knee and that they stay on your waist. All right? Same thing goes for pants. We don't want to see some boxers and we don't want to see your undergarments at all. All right? We don't wear tank tops and we don't wear muscle shirts and guys, we don't need to say how big and bad and buff you are. That We already know it. Yep. It's all good. All right. And ladies, we don't need to see bare midriffs of all. All right. So make sure that you cover up and take care of your dress code. All right. Holes. School district policy clearly says no holes in jeans, no holes, period. All right. Now, we get a little relaxed about that here at North High and we'll allow you to have holes below the knee. If you have anything above the knee, I don't want to see skin being shown, so you need to have something underneath that, which will cover that, all right? Gentlemen, you primarily, and ladies as well, I guess, we don't do hats. We were relaxed with it last year. That was a different year. We're back to where we are. We're going to set the standard in this district again. So no hats, no caps, and that includes hoodies. If I don't know who you are and I can't see who you are, that, that creates a problem. Yoga pants, leggings, ladies, make sure that you have something that covers all of you, all right, that's necessary, okay? So if you're wearing yoga pants or leggings, please make sure that you dress appropriately, okay? Your responsibilities. I'm not responsible, nor is any other adult responsible for your electronics. And understand that if you lose your phone, that's on you. We're not responsible for your earbuds, your eye, your whatever they are. We're not responsible for them, so don't lose them. Be responsible. Put them in a good place where you know that they're taken care of and that they're not going to be stolen or lost, all right? And also know that when you use your cell phone, in this, this uh, when you decide to use one in the classroom, know that there's also going to be consequences. If the teacher gives you permission, that's one thing, but when you take the law into your own hands, that's a totally different game, all right? So don't do that. Student parking lot, that is off limits. No teacher will tell you, sure, go ahead. Yeah, it's all right for you to go to the parking lot. No, it's not going to happen. No, the only way you'll go out there is, listen, only if an administrator allows you to go out there, which means then you're going to be escorted by either a security specialist or that administrator. All right? And be sure you clean up in, after yourself in a cafeteria. Last year, you folks did a fabulous job, and thank you. Because, I mean, let's get real. You know, the, the cafeteria ladies, they have a lot of work to do. And to clean up after you folks, well, that just adds to their, their workload. So clean up for your, after yourself in the cafeteria. Restroom usage. It's going to shift from last year to this year. It's going to be a lot different. So this year, you're going to be able to use it during class change, before, after school, and during lunch. You are only going to the restroom if and only if it's an emergency during class, which means you're then going to use a student castle pass, you enter that, and your teacher will approve that. But otherwise, the restrooms will be open all day, and you'll be able to use the restrooms during class changes, and again at lunch, and before and after school. Okay? Now let me introduce you, Ms. Hutchinson.
Good morning, Red Knights, and welcome to the 2021-2022 school year. I'm here to talk to you about attendance. Please be here all day, every day. Please be on time. Remember, instructional time is 7.05 to 1.35, meaning you need to be in your seat and ready to learn at 7.05. If you do arrive to school late, please stop by student services to get a pass. Your teachers will not allow you into class without a pass. Students, if you miss more than, if you miss class more than nine times, you may lose credit. So again, please be here all day, every day, every school day. If you happen to be quarantined, Focus will show a GC code and all of your work will be in Google Classroom. The GC code is a present code. It does not count against you and you are expected to work while you are at home. And now I will introduce Mrs. Amaya, for athletics and activities. Good morning and welcome back, Red Knights. I am so happy to have you here. And I wanna to talk to you about getting involved in school. Um, I know everybody that comes to North High had this school as a first choice, so I know we're happy to be here. Athletes. Love that you're involved and let me remind you to make sure you have all your paperwork cleared before you're beginning practice or you're beginning conditioning. In order to do that, make sure that you see your athletic director secretary or your athletic director in the front office to confirm that that paperwork is cleared. Also, listen to morning announcements. You'll find lots of information about upcoming events and get involved. If it's not athletics, then check out the list of clubs on our website. There is something of interest to everyone here and great club sponsors to do it with. And remember, anytime that you are on campus after school, you must be with your coach or your sponsor at all times. Having said that, I wanna wish you on behalf of our entire administrative team to have a great year, Red Knights. 